Do you need a higher job? So, next thing I want to move on to is the coronation ceremony of the monarch itself. Now, one thing I am keen to emphasize at a constitutional level in this constitution of our new King Rudy's Island is that the figure who becomes the head of our government is a unifying figure for everybody who is not actively trying to oppose against any group or treat the country like a series of sections at all. So, how I want to work this is straight after the election campaign is over. I would like our head of state, Uktaran Naharan, the President of Ireland, to gather all of the prospective Tishi to Aris and Uktaran for the results. Only after the results are read would the President introduce our new Tishak to a group of people who will have gathered, people who will have supported all of a series of different candidates, but who are all there just for their new king. And as we come out then, just in Phoenix Park then, we'll just start waving them, and as you're presented to the new, as the new Taoiseach to the people of Ireland, then you will go straight to Dublin Castle for the, the coronation ceremony straight away. And how I would intend to have that as alongside our Anne Vane, our national anthem, I would like to introduce a new king's anthem or queen's anthem. So, in other words, there would be an anthem we would have a consistent tune no matter who's on the throne. However, what I would like to have is change the words in accordance with the promises of the manifesto of whoever has come on. So, say for instance if you had Hail glorious King Rory, great balder of roads, and I promise you it's a tighter roads, and then you're like, where's these roads at? Well, you know, you're going to look like a bit of a prick if there is no, no, if you haven't, <laughs> haven't done what you've said you're going to do. So echoing the manifesto promises of your monarch back to them again and again and again is a good way of making sure that you get your uh, promises kept. So that's one thing I would do. Uh, second of all, then, we'll have to have some sort of a, a brat ray, as they had, uh, just the, some sort of a king's regalia, about like the Pope or uh, somebody like that, just to, to put on them there for continuity purposes then. So we'll, we'll bring them in to the, um, so we'll bring them to Dublin Castle then. And one thing I would also like to do, part of the problem that I believe has happened is that the politicians have not put enough of themselves into the job. They don't take enough pride in the job. It's not like somebody putting on a county jersey for the Gaelic or somebody that wants to serve. What I would like is a stronger sense of national pride. A bit of triumphalism would definitely be better than defeatism. Although you have to balance your needs as long as the needs of the country. I would like people who are more ambitious to bring actual plans together happen. I would like real doers to come to government. However, a small symbolic traditional gesture which we could start to show that this is going to be the direction and the mode of the government from here on in is that at your coronation ceremony you'll cut your hand and then your blood will go into the ink of a pen and when you sign the constitution you and the country become one. You are told Leader and country become one once you sign that proclamation. And when the blood of the Taoiseach touches the constitution, then you and Ireland are one. You are Ireland. What hurts Ireland hurts you. Make it work. That's a very powerful way just to show the amount of yourself to the people and what you're intending to give. And this is another benefit of why having a visible strong leader and the way that I am proposing would lead to significantly more effective governance for the country. Now back to the coronation ceremony. We would then have the regional kings and queens, which I'm going to explain now at a later date exactly what their role is in the new Ireland, but they would all come forward and they would all kiss the hand of the new high king or the Taoiseach then, and that would be that. And oh, then after that there'd be all of the Ministers would all be sworn in. We would all stand up for Iran the vein and then straight away then, away to Leinster House and get it done. So that's the what I would propose for the coronation of the monarch. I think that could be a consistently uh, very well attended, uh, very exciting event uh, for
for the country. Obviously, then if somebody dies or resigns or uh, found guilty of malpractice or something like that, obviously the Tannish Jew would just take over until there is a, a new um, election itself. And the, the, this would only really happen after there would be a directly elected monarch uh, would come into power. But that's the plan that I have in place. So, keen to hear what you think. All the best. Slan Ogres, Benat. Gora Mila, my Hogarth.